uh, my partner because the Stacks Music Academy, our sister organization, is the Stacks Museum of American Soul Music, and its executive director is Mr. Jeff Cullen. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. So, first of all, how many of you have been to the Stacks Museum? All of you today, Henry. Yes, if you haven't been, you must go. It's, uh, it's a pretty magical place. So, for tonight's performance, it's the 20th anniversary of the year, so you expect some surprises to pop out the box. And Jeff was nice enough to provide one of those surprises, so I'll let you go from here. So, before I talk about this wonderful guitar here on the stage, uh, check out stacksmuseum.com slash events. It tells you everything we have going on. Coming up in March and April, we have a lot of great things, including some uh, collaborative programming with you all, which we're excited to do going forward. So the museum, uh, which has been around since 2000, 2003, we get artifacts and we get things that come in a lot. A lot of times it's records, photographs, letters, and more records and more records. But occasionally, over the last couple years, we've come across some really great pieces that we've been able to bring into the museum. And I hope some of you have been able to attend some of these special events where we brought in Floyd Newman's baritone saxophone, Jim Stewart's fiddle, and some other things. But this past year, we were able to finally secure a guitar from a guitar player that is incredibly important to the history of sax records, and that's Mr. Charles Skip Pitts. How many of you have heard of Skip Pitts before? Not, a, not enough of you are clapping. So, Charles Skip Pitts came to us from Washington, D.C. after he played with the Isley Brothers, came at the uh, request or invitation of a Mr. Isaac Hayes, and joined uh, the, uh, the Sax family and played on a couple really important records, the first being theme from Shaft and the Shaft soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. And so that famous sound that you hear on the guitar is Mr. Skip Pitts. And the very guitar that Mr. Skip Pitts was playing when he was making that sound is this guitar right here. That means it's an artifact. That means it's an artifact. And this guitar is a 1971 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Isaac Hayes bought this for Skip. He bought a guitar for Skip and he bought a guitar for Mr. Bobby Manuel, another great unheralded uh, guitar player at, at, at Sax. This thing, I'm not a guitar player, but this guitar is really heavy. And Bobby said when he got it, he played it for about a month and he gave it back because it was too heavy. But this became one of Skip's guitars that he played regularly, played on the Shaft sessions, and then he also played at the Watt Stacks concert in 1972. So if you see that documentary film, this is a, one of the guitars that he's playing in that show, and he played it throughout the 1970s. This, is, this guitar actually left Memphis and left Skip's control in 1977. It was sold at auction, and we found it, of all places, in a trailer park in Danville, Virginia. Wow. Um, I'm not making this up. And uh, came to us early last year, and the remarkable thing is when he came to us, it had been played the entire time that this gentleman in Virginia had had it. So when it came to us, it needed very little work, took it to Martin Guitar Shop, they gave it a once over, and when we brought it into the museum last September, we let Joe Restivo, the great Memphis guitar player, play when we did a tribute to Skip, the late Harold Bean, our great friend, and our other good friend, Bobby Manuel. And then we put it in a case, and we left it. But as we were talking about Black History Month and the concert, and you know some of the things that they were working on, you know, I had been, been at the museum five years, and there's one particular musician who stood out to me four years ago when I saw him playing at Junior Academy, and that's partially because he's just so tall. But, um, but I've really, really been really, really impressed with how he's played guitar, how he carries himself, and frankly, the last time I heard him play Thief from Shaft, he just worked it out. And it was like, this, you know what, this is the time. So we took the plastic off the case, we brought the guitar over here, and we'd like to call out our good friend, Mr. Vincent Burns, who's going to play Vincent Burns is a singer with us at Sax Music Academy. He releases his own music, so if you Google him, you will find him online, and you should go check out his original music, because it's pretty cool. So Vincent and the Sax Academy Jazz Ensemble, we are going to let you take over the rest of the show. We ask you to enjoy yourselves again. <laughs> 